Any photographer doing documentary editorial work at some point in time says, wow, can I do street photography as well? And so I just showed up at Times Square one morning and <laughs> spent years. Street photography is a kind of endless pursuit of a perfect moment that you can't really imagine in your head, but when you see it somehow, you realize that's it. You develop a sort of hyper alertness and you try and fit into the flow and to the energy of the street. Street photographers are almost like dancers a little bit. You have to be very light on your feet. I like to change my height, so I bend my knees a lot, I go down low, I want the camera to move with my body. I need to be fast, so I want a really light camera, I want a small camera, I want a camera that I can hold in my hand. And so with the V2, it's been a liberating camera for me, totally, because I don't think about, oh, is this the picture I should be taking? I just take it. It's just like a reflexive action, almost. I'm shooting at such high frame rates, really, that I didn't even know when I was shooting what it is I'm gonna get. So when I'm looking at it afterwards, it's even more of a surprise. Like, what did that camera get? A little camera like this, the flashes are usually like uh, inside the camera, but what I do is I slave it. If you have other flashes, they'll communicate with each other. So I can shoot with this and then fire my flash. And so what's nice is you get a kind of side light as opposed to direct light. People with their heads under umbrellas, normally those people are in shadow, you never see their faces, but you just put the flash and no one even notices. So if you want to start doing street photography, the first thing is you have to realize that there's no perfect picture. So when you go out there and you start walking around and wandering and you're thinking, what is it that I'm looking for? What picture am I here for? Don't worry. Go out there, notice how the sun moves across the buildings, notice expressions on people's faces, just try and get into the sort of dimension of the street. So I think most photographers would say it's the surprises that make the picture. Don't put too much pressure on yourself.